Hi there, this is David and welcome to Let's Play Mother 1 for the Game Boy Advance. This is actually a compilation ROM of Mother 1 and 2, and I will be playing both games. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and start with what was originally released for the NES, which is just Mother. It's a game by many names. It's known as Mother in Japan. Uh, whenever it was going to be released here in America, it was going to be known as Earthbound. Um, whenever it finally did come over, though, Earthbound was already released, and we got a prototype ROM, so they named it Earthbound Zero. Then, whenever Nintendo actually went ahead and released it, they called it Earthbound Beginnings. So, yeah, it, it's a game of many names. The boy's name right here, its canon name is Ninten, but I think that's kind of dumb, so we're just going to name it after me. And uh, we'll just go with the other default names for everyone else. My favorite food. I like a good salad. Okay, that works for me. I like a nice big salad. I'm like Elaine Bennis. I want a nice big salad. Um, looks good to me. Let's do this. And here we have some scrolling text. While we read this, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with this game. I was always a huge fan of Earthbound ever since it came out. My, I remember the advertisements for it in Nintendo Power, and I was just kind of like, oh, this is kind of like weird, but my brother was into kind of weird stuff, and he had to have it. So we got it that year for Christmas, and we both fell in love with Earthbound. So whenever the ROM of the prototype version of the English version came out, whenever it was dumped online, I was all about it. But it was so... Difficult. It is just an effort in grinding. It is crazy. However, there is a way in this version of the game to make it that it's not grindy at all. Oh, and also in this version of the game, the towns are named after holidays. In the NES original, it was named Podunk, but just like in the Japanese version, now it's named after Mother's Day. Hey, hey, we get the easy ring. The easy ring was not in the NES version of the game. And uh, just like it says, it makes things easy. It's really, really nice. Let me tell you what the easy ring is going to do if you do decide to equip it. Yeah, it's going to increase experience and money from enemies and reduce random encounters and give you 28 more defensive points, which is the... Uh, amount of defense that the best ring in the entire game will give you, and it's twice as much gold and four times as much experience. So, um, if you want to sit around and grind for a year and a day like you did in the original version of the game, don't equip it. If you don't want to deal with all that, then use the thing and put it on. So yeah, now we have um, our equipment as the easy ring, so very, very nice. Let's get out of here. Whoa! Whoa! A lamp! A lamp is attacking me? Let's check this thing out. Wow, it literally is attacking me. But whenever you check a um, an enemy, it, it's, it's going to give you some information about the enemy, which is really cool. And let's go ahead and ch change our tech speed to fast as well. And we really don't have anything that we can do right now, so just fight the lamp. There's nothing else that you can really do. You can put it on auto battle, which is kind of nice. And then you don't have to worry about inputting stuff. But that's fine, since there is nothing that we can input anyway. If you want to run um, in the NES... Oh, we got a smash! Yeah, that's the critical hit of the game. In the NES version, if you wanted to run, you would hit the B button, and that would allow you to run, but the B button pulls up a status screen in this game, so hit the L button, and that will allow you to run. Oh, well that's no good. Okay, so let's get on out of here. At least we saved our sister. Hey there. Oh, okay. A doll? Let's check this guy out. A naked doll. It glares at you from afar. <laughs> but again, there's nothing that you can do here, so just go ahead and attack it over and over and over again until you win. Hey, awesome, got a smash. Yeah, we need that. Woohoo! And from that, we level up. 
Stat gains in this game are pretty random. At least they were in the NES version of the game. Ooh, we got two levels. Yeah, that's from that easy ring with all the experience that you get here. So nice. Makes it that you really don't have to grind at all. Hey, are you all right? Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, look at the doll then. An old music box. Learn the broken melody. Kind of strange. Oh, and we get to listen to the melody again. That's just lovely. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, got you. Oh, well, thank you. And you can talk to your sister as many times as you want to get as much juice as you want to as well. So I would recommend to just go ahead and, let's see, let me look at my goods. Okay, I have enough juice except for one little spot there, which is fine. That's exactly what I want, but I'm going to go ahead and use the juice. Um, let's see. Here we go. Let's, let's look at info of the orange juice. <laughs> Rich in vitamin C. Okay. And we can use it. Recovers our HP by roughly 10. You can also eat it. It does the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get two more orange juices while we're here. Because our sister's generosity is going to be very short-lived, so let's go ahead and uh, take advantage of it while we can. Oh, uh, both sisters end up giving you juice at this point, but once you go down here, the sisters quit giving you juice. Oh. Oh. Um, sure, I guess. Oh, hey, Dad. A poltergeist. Really, our great-grandfather studied PSI at one point. Hmm. Oh, you don't know where you put the basement key? Wow. You're gonna send your eight-year-old kid on an adventure to save the world and kill ghosts and you're not even gonna tell me where the basement key is? I don't know, do you know where the basement key is? No, you're completely useless. Yeah, there's the basement, but it's locked. Oh, it's a doggy! Hey there! Oh, I'm checking you. Um, okay, I'll check you. Really? Seriously? Yeah, this is because I talked to my sister again, so I got an extra orange juice, so let's try this again. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, it could be kind of, the controls can be a little bit clunky here, but it's not the biggest deal. So here we actually have to use our basement key in order to unlock the door. Um, and if you leave, you have to use the basement key again. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop yet another orange juice. Because we have some treasures to get. The Great Grandfather's Diary! Cool! Let's go ahead and look at that. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, it's mostly illegible. Oh, well, that's no good. The password. Where is the god's tale? That which was left behind by the ship that soars the heavens? Like an airship? Huh. That's weird. Who knows? Here we get some bread. The bread is a very useful item, one of the most useful items in the entire game. I am a big fan of the bread. You can use, or you can eat it, I should say. You can eat it to regain 20 HP, or you could use it, and um, you'll create like a trail of breadcrumbs, and uh, it basically allows you to backtrack. It's kind of like an exit mouse, but you can use it anywhere. Let's say that you want to backtrack to your home. Put some bread there. What if you want to backtrack to the department store? Put some bread there. You can put your bread anywhere. It is so good. Hey there, sis. Yeah, so Minnie, your sister, acts as a um, item storage spot, which is very handy. So let's go ahead and put away the basement key so we don't need that any longer. And we're going to go ahead and deposit the great grandfather's diary. We will need that later, but for right now, Item space is at a premium, so um, just go ahead and stick that in there. We'll go back to the sister and deal with, you know, getting that item out whenever we need it again. Oh, 
Okay. Thanks. Anytime that you want to heal up for free, you could just talk to your mother, and uh, she'll make you some salad or whatever, and then you'll get healed up. Oh. Okay. Let's also look at another thing. <clears throat> we have some PSI, the telepathy. But nothing happened. Yeah. Sometimes you can use telepathy to read people's minds, so that's kind of nice. And our house has its very own sign, how nice for us. So let's go out and just look around and go exploring. As you can see, the maps in Earthbat or in Mother they are enormous. They are huge. Pippi, she's lost. Oh, okay. Oh, she's crying. I feel bad for her. Yeah, it's only certain people that you can use the telepathy on. The maps in this game are actually larger than the maps in, um, in regular Earthbound for the SNES. Uh oh, bad tempered redneck. Yikes. Ooh, seven damage. Whoa. But again, we have nothing that we can really do here in this battle, so we're just going to put it on auto. I believe that his name is Wally in the NES version. Hey, hey get another level. Sweet. He's one of the harder enemies around here. But that's fine. Ooh, we learned a new PSI. Sweet. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, let's see. Telepathy. Hypnosis. That will put an enemy to sleep. So that's pretty nice. Moving right along. Oh, a little sign here. Yay, we've made it into town. There should be another little sign over here. I think I passed it up. Eh, may okay, maybe not. Keeping track of these maps in this game are... Like, they're just so big. There's... Oh, it's right here. This is the stupid path I was looking for. <laughs> so over here, there's Canary Village, and we'll keep that in mind for later. But anyway, let's head inside town and talk to people. Yeah, actually, it did. Oh, wow, it tore your house apart. That's crazy. Take notice of these two houses. One has this rounded door. One has more of a square or rectangular door. You cannot enter the square doors. You can only enter the round doors. And this meddlesome mouse will tell you that. Yeah, so if they have round doors or signs, then you can go into them. Otherwise, you'll just hit your head. Well, thanks for the, uh information there. No, I came from the north. I didn't. What do you want from me, kid? Hey there. Controlling the dead? Oh, that's creepy. Who's controlling the dead? What the hell? This path up there will lead you out of town, and it is quite a long path. Um, there's no need for us to go up there, and the enemies can be relatively difficult, so don't worry about that. Here we have a centipede. It's one of the easiest enemies in the game, and we'll just take it out easily enough. Oh, hey! Here we have a hippie! Yeah, and it's playing Johnny B. Good. You hear that? I like that. That's really cool. This is one, another one of the reasons why... Um, Plant flowers in his head and they'd grow and he's praying. <laughs> this is probably another one of the reasons why um, Mother was never released in America, because, you know, they'd have to get rights to things like this. Now I'm angry! Let me show you the power of anger! Yeah, wow, 26 damage with that offense up. Thank you, hippie dude. Thank you. Oh, East is Thanksgiving. Huh, hey there. Martial law? I guess because of these poltergeists. Hmm. Well, I'll just tell you right now, there's cops on that bridge too, so yeah. We can look at a map. If you hit the start button, that will allow you to access the map, and you can kind of scroll the map around. And as you can see, Thanksgiving is a pretty close-by town, um, but we just can't get there right now. And we have Valentine's Day, Easter, Halloween... And then a lot of towns, like, that are related to Christmas, but the towns aren't named Christmas. Like Reindeer, Snowman, Santa Claus Station. It's just kind of odd. Like, why don't you just name one Christmas and then name other towns... I don't know, about other holidays or something. Here we have a snake. Um, but again, just... yeah. Smash it! Ooh! 
Notice, I learned a new PSI in battle, but I didn't gain a level. Learning PSIs are completely and totally random. There's nothing that you can do about it. The PSI that I learned, though, is Life Up A, or Life Up Alpha, and it's going to allow me to heal myself, so that's very nice to have. And here we have a stray dog. Let's check that guy out, too. <laughs> it better not have fleas. I like that. You know, like, every every little enemy has its own little dialogue whenever you check it. It's pretty neat. Like, you don't even have to use a scan spell or anything. You just check it out. Ooh, learned another PSI. Man, I'm getting all sorts. What did I learn? Oh, healing. Okay, um, healing will cure the poison status, but we don't have to worry about the poison status yet, so... Yeah, don't. Hey there. Zombies? Yikes. I'm not a zombie. No! Yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I am a zombie. <laughs> he runs away. <laughs> Oh, it's so ridiculous. Oh, a cheap hotel. Oh, okay, yeah. Hotels are like ends, they heal you up. They're $39 per night. No, I don't have any money. It's way too rich for my blood. You don't even have a telephone. Is that Marcy from the Peanuts? Animals are violent, poltergeists strong, the loose zombies are attacking you. Holy crap. I feel bad for you, girl. Canary Village of the North and West. Oh! Okay, we can go on a little sightseeing tour. Why not? A little hamburg shop here. Wow! I'm not a snot-nosed kid! I'm a hero! I'm an adventurer! No, I'm not him. She, like, she has issues. She's still, like, mad at me for something in kindergarten. Here you can buy some healing items. Uh, orange juice restores 10 HP. French fries restores 20. Hamburgers restores 50. But we have all that orange juice from our sister. And we have Life Up Alpha, so I'm not too concerned. So let's get on out of here. Oh, it's the town hall. Huh. Remember, we can enter places that have a sign in front of it, so we can go in here. Why don't you just tell me now? Mm. Okay, this guy. I'm Abbott, the mayor's, uh, assistant. Yeah. I think that there's something going on between these two. My gator is going off here. Well, what is it? A child strayed into the cemetery. We did hear that that pippy girl was missing. Um, yeah, we'll help you. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure, Mayor. I'm sure. Why don't you ask the cops? They're not doing anything. They're just guarding bridges. Make them do something. Oh. Well, she has a secret, but she won't tell us. She's kind of useless. Man living in Canary Village. Oh. Oh, like an ATM. A PTA card. You don't. You don't need a PTA card. You need an ATM card. Ah. Uh. Okay, so here we have the service desk. She'll allow you to return various items. Let's try to return our orange juice that we got for free. Yeah, she won't, so yeah, we can't do that. That kind of sucks. But here we have our ATM. Even if you try to check it, it's not going to let you. You literally need to go into your item menu and use the ATM card. It's so annoying. But we do have $288. I'll just go ahead and withdraw $100 for right now, though. Over here we have a payphone. And, um, yeah, we can go ahead and call our dad, but it costs one dollar to do so. And he'll tell you about how much money you have in the bank, he'll tell you how much experience you need to get to the next level, and you can also save your game from him as well. Okay, yeah, so I always like to keep at least a hundred gold on myself, just in case I need to use payphones or anything else like that. Um, but... If you, whatever money you have on you, whenever you die, you'll lose half of. So that does kind of suck, but it's not the biggest deal in this kind of easy mode. Here at the drugstore, you can buy antidotes, which will cure the poison status, and asthma spray, which will cure asthma, of course. But asthma ends after a battle anyway, so it's completely useless. The medicine. 
will restore all of your HP. It's like life up cream, so that's really nice. And the bug spray, you can use it as an item in battle and it will massively hurt bug type enemies, but item space is at a premium in this game. You only have like eight slots. So I only like to really keep the important items on me. Here we have the sporting goods store. You can buy a cracked bat, which is a little bit better than what we already have. It, it increases your attack power by three points. The slingshot increases your attack by seven. The t-ball bat, though, will increase it by 12. That's what I want to go for. Um, but we don't have that much money, but we'll get it shortly. So don't worry about it quite yet. Let's move on. Here we have a food store. Um, bread. Bread is so nice. Let's buy another bread. Yeah, it's just so good. And you can also buy a sports drink, and that will increase your HP by 100 points. So that's pretty nice as well. But we don't need that quite yet. We just need bread, and not really for healing purposes. We need it for returning purposes. Oh, you have a canary chick. Um, yeah. 85 gold? Hell no, I can't afford that. Oh, well, yeah, I'll take it for free. Thanks. Something's controlling the animals. Huh. Yeah, here we have more wonky controls. It should be easier just to go downstairs, but it's kind of annoying. Okay, so with all that being said and done, let's get out of here. Also, I want to go ahead and use my bread in front of the, um in front of the town hall. Yeah, and it's gonna start a breadcrumb trail. So now if I ever wanna go back to the town hall, you would use the breadcrumbs and that would bring you back there. And we'll be using that um, soon enough. But anyway, let's continue exploring Podunk. Let's see. Oh, get over here. Oh, berserk animals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if you say so, kid. Oh, here we have a hospital. This nurse is really annoying, and she doesn't do anything. She asks you who you're here to see, but you can't, like, see yourself or anything, and there's nobody else inside the hospital, so don't worry about that. The real reason to go to the hospital is to talk to the doctor. So he's going to charge you $25 to examine you, um, and then if you have, like, a cold or anything else or you're poisoned, then he'll charge you more! Like, it's like you have to pay your copay, and then you have to pay even more. It's ridiculous. Is that pig pen? Like, it really lo looks like Peanuts Kids. Little girl got lost in the cemetery. Huh. I hope that she'll get rescued soon. Everybody seems to be discussing that. Hey there. Wow, it's a zombie! Yikes! A pseudo-zombie! Wow, he's really strong. Hey, hey! But he's not faster than I am! Actually, he kind of is. He dodged me, but yeah. Oh well. Again, our hero doesn't have any kind of magical attacks. There's no such thing as, like, PSI Rockin', like in the uh, SNES Earthbound. He only has healing abilities and um, support abilities. So for the most part, he's just going to be attacking to get through all these enemies. Oh! zombie! Yeah, we have two pseudo-zombies down here, and just take care of them any which way possible, and you'll be fine. Um, you don't have to talk to these two zombies, you don't have to fight them if you don't want to, but I figured, eh, why not? It's some extra experience points, so you might as well. So anyway, with that, we've pretty much explored the entirety of this town. Um, so what I want to do is go ahead and rest up at the hotel so we can go and rescue Pippi. Sure. You can go back to your mother and rest for free, but it's only $40 to spend the night, so whatever, we'll spend it. It's fine. Okay. And with that, we have explored Podunk, we've started the game, and next time on Let's Play Mother, we're going to be rescuing that girl in the cemetery. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and... Have a good day.